Okay. This story is called Home Free. It's the story of Leanna Metz. She is 11 years old. She's just finished grade five. Uh, and she's growing up in the 1960s. And she wants to be a writer when she grows up because uh, she loves reading, she loves writing. She doesn't get a lot of support for that in her family uh, or her community. She also wants to be an orphan because all of the best books seem to be about orphans. There's the best book of all, of course, is uh, Anne of Green Gables. But she also loves Jane Eyre and uh, The Secret Garden about Mary Lennox and all kinds of other books where the parents just aren't there. Uh, when I was growing up, I thought Madeline was an orphan. When I got older, I realized, no, she was just in a convent school and her parents appeared to be somewhere. But uh, Leanna has read all of these books and she thinks that children who don't have parents telling them what they can and can't do every minute of the day have a much greater, better, more fascinating life than her run-of-the-mill, regular, boring boring life. So uh, one day in the, that summer, uh, Red had orphan moves in next door to her and uh, she can't believe her luck and she wants to, she assumes that this girl is going to be just like Anne Shirley and projects all of her uh, wildest dreams and aspirations onto this poor girl and we know that Cassandra has a mystery about her. She won't talk about her parents, she won't talk about how they died. Leanna asks her over and over and over again. And every now and then she's very critical of her mother. Um, the girls, somebody does die in the story. And the girls find out the truth about being an orphan. And they go off to a cottage for a wonderful week in the summer and come to understand their place in the world and in the universe and forge a very deep, deep friendship.